everyone today i am going to tell you the different types of angles based on the measurement and i'll going to clear your confusion regarding what are the main types of angles usually uh, the people just get confused uh, about uh, which angles are basically uh, considered as the main types of the angles as angles are basically differently classified based on the Uh, different um, properties like today i am going to tell you the types of angles on the basis of the measurement sometimes they are classified on the basis of the uh, of the rotation and sometimes they are classified uh, in the uh, form of the pair of angles so today i am going to tell you the types of main basic types of the angles quickly so first of all the first angle is zero angle as its name indicate that this angle is of measure of 0 degree if i write here that zero angle is equals to 0 degree now what does it meant by zero degree if i draw here the this angle will look like this as for angle we must have the two arms that are coinciding at one point and they must have some distance from each other like in a way distance means if you have two rays like this it means there will be some angle between them these are the two rays and they are joining at the point that is called the vertex this is the vertex so in case of zero angle these two lines are overlapping each other and both these li lines or you can say rays are overlapping each other in the same direction so i must write here they are overlapping in the same direction so it means that they do not have any angle between them or you can say they have zero degree angle between them so when the both the, uh, the rays are in the same direction you will say this is a zero angle between the two rays this is the first type of the angle usually you will see that it this angle type is not usually discussed but it is necessary that you should know that how it will be like what is called the what is the zero angle so after this is we have an acute angle this is the second type that i am going to discuss acute angle so acute angle is basically less than 90 degree is basically less than 90 degree that is the measurement of the acute angle is less than 90 degree and you will also see somewhere that it is considered as greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree so mainly acute angle is defined as an angle whose measurement is less than 90 degree so let's see how it will look like if i draw it like this this is like a coordinate system and i am going to draw an acute angle this is an acute angle as this angle is less than 90 degree so how i come to know that this angle is less than 90 degree let's have a look here that if i label this coordinate system as this is 0 degree this is 90 degree this is 180 degree this is 270 degree and this will go back to 360 degree together with 0 degree like for 0 degree we do not have we do, do not have the rotation and for 360 degree we will have a complete rotation so by looking at this system you can easily say that this angle that is in blue line is an acute angle and say for example if it's you can say 45 degree then it is obvious that it is less than 90 degree so the angle that is less than 90 degree is an acute angle so the next type is right angle right is basically used for 90 degree so i'll write here equals to 90 degree so right angle is equals to 90 degree exactly equal to 90 degree not less than not greater than so it is clear here that a 90 degree angle will be like this that you have a 90 degree here so these are the two arms of the angles and in between there is an angle that is 90 degree as i have also made here in the system the next type that we have is obtuse angle so obtuse angle is as we are going in a you can say proper increasing order it's from 0 to 3 towards 360 so after less than 90 we have equals to 90 and now we have greater than 90 and less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle so if i draw it it's obvious that i will draw it like we have so i already told you here this is 0 this is 90 this is 180 
this is 270 and then we will go back to 360. So here we have an angle that is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So it will look alike. So if I measure this angle, it will be like this. So this angle is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So you can say that uh, it's 120 or 170 or, uh, or 130 or 140. So it, it's in between 90 and 180 and there will no there will be no equality not equal to 90 degree and not equal to 180 degree so the next angle that we have is straight angles now what is straight angle let's see straight angle is an angle that is exactly equal to 180 degree just like in right angle we were we will were having 90 degrees here we have equals to 180 degree so why it is called straight angle let's see i'll draw it and then you'll understand so when we move from the origin and we stop at 180 degree this is called a straight angle now keep this in mind that the difference here is between 180 and between straight and zero angle is in zero angle we have the arrows both in the same direction but in case of straight angle we have the arrows in opposite direction when you have the arrows in the opposite direction, then you will come to know that this is a 180 degree angle. This is a straight angle, not the zero angle. And when you have the arrows in the same direction, then the angle will be zero angle. So here we have equal to 180 degree. So the next type is reflex angle. So what will be the measurement of reflex angle? It will be greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. So, how it will look? Let's see. It will be like draw here. Angle starts from here and it will be like here. For example, I'm just giving you the example. If the angle is like this. So, here we have greater than 180. It's clear that it's it. this was 180. Here we have 0 and 360. Here we have 90 and here we have 270. So, if this angle is greater than 180 and it's less than 360. It's obvious. So, this will be reflex angle. Then we have lastly the full rotation or full angle. Full rotation or full angle. Now, full angle is just like the straight angle and zero angle. The full angle is having the measurement that is equals to 360 degree. So why we are calling it full angle? Because if I draw it, you will definitely understand that why it is called full angle. It means if I start from zero and I'll take a complete round and I'll go back to the same position, just like forming a circle, then it will give us a complete rotation that is equal to 360 degree. So this is called the full angle. These were the seven different types of angles. Keep this in mind that these different angles are based on measurement, not on the, ba on the basis of rotation, not on the basis of the pair of angles. So don't get confused on what are the basic types of angles. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.